Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you the advice that I wish I actually had when I started my own forex trading journey. And I hope that it's going to help somebody out there. If you find value in this video, please leave a like. And if you have anything else that you also want to add to this video, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Let's help one another. Let's help one another for free. Let's help one another for free. So yeah, uh, if you're also looking for good reliable forex brokers, see the links that I have in the description box below. Okay, so the advice that I wish I had uh, as a beginner in forex trading. The first thing was to take your time. Uh, when I started uh, trading, I started trading because I had seen many people showing off uh, money, their Lambos, you know, the lifestyle. If you have been on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, X, it's now called X, you, you would have seen people showing off the trading lifestyle. So I also entered into uh, trading what thinking that uh, I'll just quick quickly uh, you know like I look at these guys like how hard can it be uh, these guys are rolling in cash I can quickly also what just go in there uh, create open an account deposit my money trade and become a millionaire is the wrong mindset a wrong idea forex trading is not a get rich quick scheme so what i would advise people is take your time take your time to learn take your time to make mistakes take your time to learn from those mistakes and everything will come to you so be patient don't rush uh, to become a millionaire uh, by next week. I've seen people who have spent three years without being profitable, five years without being profitable. I've seen people who have become profitable in six months, in one year. It's different for every person. Take your time. Learn the skill. Learn to trade properly. Don't rush to become a millionaire. Number two. Focus on psychology. Uh, I personally believe that uh, trading psychology probably ranges are makes about 70%, 60%, 70%, of trading success. Uh, people don't realize how your mental state actually affects your trading decisions. So don't rush into trades if you are not like mentally stable when things are not moving okay in your life elsewhere whether you're fighting with a spouse whether you're fighting with your boss at work or whether you are not feeling well you are sick you are exhausted if you are not mentally okay stay out of the markets i blew accounts on that i thought uh, because I fought with my girlfriend, it's now my wife, my, was my uh, girlfriend back then. Because I fought with her, I would go and take out my frustrations on the markets. Trust me, I blew accounts on that. Come to the markets with good psychology. Psychology is how you are going to win or lose your account. Okay. Number three, risk management. Risk management. Yes, this is a big one because if you go on uh, Instagram, if you go on TikTok, you find people that are flipping accounts, you know, flipping these $10 accounts into thousands and thousands of dollars. And uh, somebody has got uh, a $100 account and they're showing you a screen with more than a thousand open positions. You're like, hey, I want to do that as well because I want to become a millionaire by tomorrow. What people don't tell you usually when they are talking about flipping accounts and all those fancy, fancy things that people 
post on social media is how many accounts they also blew whilst doing that nobody tells you that your job as a forex trader is first risk management protect your account as much as you can whether you are trading with ten dollars twenty dollars or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars hold on to that account as much as you can if you are trading ten dollars treat it as a thousand dollars treat it as a million dollars do everything that you can to protect that account so what do you what do we mean risk management manage your risk don't be tempted to do the shenanigans that people post on social media you will blow your account they can refund you might not be able to refund your account so manage your risk don't be tempted into opening uh, a thousand trades when your account is not going to be able to handle it uh, if your account is too small number four emotions i think i've uh, it ties in with the psychology that i just talked about uh sometimes we are emotional in trading uh we saw something we saw a trade and all of a sudden the trade is moving the direction that we thought it was going to go then because we fear losing out we jump into the trade but now we are jumping into the trade at the wrong price now we are jumping into the trade at the wrong price just because we feared losing out on that opportunity trust me the market is going to be presenting you with a million more opportunities to trade as long as you are alive don't chase trades don't jump into trades based on emotions maybe you are afraid maybe you are anxious maybe don't trade in a state where you are not emotionally okay number five learn from your mistakes uh, what you want to do is to also to also keep a journal you want to keep a journal write down what you are doing write down everything your trades are why did you take the trade what did you see in the markets how did it turn out so that you can go back to that channel and see the losing trades from the winning trades what are you doing that is working and what are you doing that is losing you money then you stop doing what is losing you money and only you try to cultivate the behaviors and the setups and the trades that are actually making you money so learn from your mistakes uh, unfortunately they say you cannot learn from your wins you can only learn from your, from your losses so accept the losses in trading trust me we all lose trades uh, that's the market uh, you all lose trade despite your your professionalism despite your strategy despite your your many years in trading the market just does what the market wants to do so learn from those mistakes guys did i leave anything out uh, leave it in the comment section below let's help one another to develop as traders i'll see you in the next one bye